Hello and welcome to another Purveyor of Light Lightroom Quick Tip. Uh, today, this is, seems to be a continuation of uh, a series that it's, it's quickly becoming a series. Uh, I originally had done a video a couple weeks back in Photoshop uh, to how to restore uh, faded photos. And lo and behold, it just seems, you know, I've had people write in and ask, you know, can you show me how to do it in Capture One? Uh, can you now? It's can you show me how to do it in Lightroom and so forth? Uh, one of the big concerns about the people with Lightroom was they says I can't seem to find a level control, and you use levels in in Photoshop to do the restore, and I can't find the levels in in Lightroom. So we're gonna go ahead and jump in, and we're gonna show you here how easy it is, uh, and. Uh, you are correct, there is no levels control in, in Lightroom, uh, but we can still do it, okay? So, first step, we're going to scroll down here in the develop module, and we are going to work with the tone curve, okay? And the tone curve has the light, the red channel, the green channel, the blue channel. They're all available to us here to look at. So if we switch over to the red channel, we can see that the left side has no information. And the right side is losing a little bit of information on the highlight side. So what we want to do is we just want to condense and bring the photo to concentrate on what data we do have. So grabbing the dot and just bringing it over until we meet the data of the histogram and doing the same thing on the highlight side. Okay, and then we go to the next channel. We go to the green channel, and do the exact same thing. And the exact same thing in the highlights. See, what we're doing here is we are doing the exact same thing that we would do in a levels control, but we're all doing it right inside the curve. Blue channel. And we take the highlights in. Okay. So there we have our image restored with the data we had. Now maybe I'll put a slight S curve in this. So I'm going to just make a couple points and I'm going to do a standard S curve to increase contrast. So I'm going to pull down and you can see I'm increasing the contrast of the photo. And there we are. We are, we are dealing with a nice image and let's see if we could do some final touches on it here. Um, let's see. Do I want to add more contrast in? Maybe a little bit more contrast on the basics. Um, let's see, the blacks. Let's see if I like any of that. Yeah, maybe I'll reduce the blacks down a little bit there. And clarity. Let's see what clarity will do. Don't want to go too heavy. I'll increase the clarity. And there we go. Okay, we have the before and the after. And we did it with nothing more than a tone curve. Okay, so a lot of people don't realize that there's nothing that you can't do in a tone curve. Okay, there's nothing. I mean, Virtually, we don't even need a levels control, okay, because everything is duplicated in the tone curve. All functionality is there. So there you go. So now we're able to restore a faded image within Lightroom using no other tools. Okay, so hopefully you found it useful. Till next week, you guys take care.